Plus at CBS News. Thank you for joining us and good night. Live from the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. Get out of my face. There is no I'm letting you finish. Now at 6, 49ers linebacker Reuben Foster kicked off the team tonight after yet another run-in with the law. Don't be startled if you see smoke rising in Santa Cruz County tomorrow. Why, Cal Fire plans to start a fire there on purpose. And a showdown at the border tonight as asylum seekers try to force the U.S. to hear them out. And good evening, I'm Juliette Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. The San Ysidro Port of Entry near San Diego reopened 40 minutes ago after the busy crossing descended into chaos. <laughs> Hundreds of Central American migrants rushed the gates today trying to force their way into the country. The group was met by police in riot gear who closed off access to the footbridge and put up barriers to block their path. Some rushed across a canal that leads to another crossing, while others gathered along a set of nearby train tracks. As they approached a metal fence topped with barbed wire, they were met with canisters of tear gas fired from across the other side. The showdown prompted U.S. Customs and Border Patrol to suspend crossings at the San Isidro Port of Entry just before 1130 this morning. That's the largest border checkpoint between San Diego and Tijuana, Mexico. Crossing is also used heavily by commuters from Mexico who have jobs in the U.S. They, too, were unable to cross until about two hours ago when pedestrian bridges were reopened. Supporters in the U.S. stood in solidarity with the migrants. They gathered on the San Diego side demanding asylum for the group. Instead of using 